Hello guys and welcome back to the channel once again and I am also once again in the wonderful Snowdonia National Park. Now as you can see there, I'm not alone this week. I am joined by the wonderful Ian Worth once again and I think this is our third collaboration now so probably just friends at this stage which is nice. So really looking forward to the uh, to the adventure this evening and we're going to be doing wild, a bit of a wild camping adventure hence the big bags as I always say. Now last week was my 28th birthday and if you look there that massive road we've walked all the way down there and up this pretty steep hill to get to where we are now and I'm knackered so that is relevant because it means that I'm now getting old so yeah I'm sure a lot of you a lot of you will have something to say about that but ah uh, yeah uh, heading up to a peak called Knicht which we were just discussing sounds suitably German Knicht and um, but it is Welsh and I'm pretty sure the English translation is knight, as in knight on his horse. So, you know, with a K, you get my drift. So, interesting stuff. But it's a peak that's been on my list for a while. And I was actually saying to Ian before, it's a peak that a lot of you guys, my viewers, have sort of recommended to me. Um, so that's always nice to follow some of your guys' recommendations as well. But yeah, all in all, just looking forward to the adventure. Um, beautiful, beautiful conditions fingers crossed it stays this way so let's crack on So, we're not too far from the top, well we think, we think it might be a false summit but I think we're just being pes pessimistic because we're knackered. Ah, oh, this has been an absolute gruel of a hike, um, I think we went off the proper route at one stage, you probably saw some of the pictures back there and it was probably a little bit too difficult in stages but anyway we've made it up now and it is absolutely glorious. If you look behind there we've got the Snowden Massif again becoming quite f familiar in my videos um, and yeah you can tell we're getting towards the peak now because we're getting these incredible 360 degree views we've got um, views out to the west towards the Irish Sea as well and ah shattered but all in all just looking forward to getting to the top now All right, so we're both set up now, and um, we're both going for fairly similar shots. Well, we're shooting in the same sort of direction at least, but um, we're both getting different outcomes as well, so it's quite interesting. Now, what I'm doing as well is one of my, I don't know, favourites quite recently. I'm doing a bit of a horizontal panorama, so I've got my camera obviously there set up in a portrait dimension. And I'm going across right to left, and I'm only taking about four shots again. You know, it's not a big, massive panel shot. But it's just such a beautiful scene. And if you look down here, we've got these two lakes. Well, it actually looks like there's three lakes all together. But I'm using them as a little bit of an anchor for the whole photograph in my foreground. And then, you know, hopefully they sort of lead into the midground of the image, which is all these sort of layers, uh, which did look a little bit better earlier when we had a bit of sort of side light shining through. But I'm going to stick with it. And then... The sky is looking fairly promising. We're not really too sure what's going to happen yet. Um, it looks like a bit of a, a bank of cloud has moved in over there um, to the sort of northwest where it's setting, but I don't know. Fingers crossed on that one. But um, at the minute, this is changing all the time, by the way, guys. But F11, ISO 100, and one fifth of a second. And I'm keeping that consistent 
across the panel from left to right. Um, another thing what I might try is what I was trying to do last week at the castle is I've already taken one panel shot um, probably about 10 minutes ago when we had some nice golden light on the land there and then I've not touched my tripod, I've not moved it, it's all still going to be levelled out exactly the same and then if we do get some action in that sky I might take another, another panel shot and then when I get home um, try and sort of merge the two photographs together if it looks natural enough so then we get um, we get the nice golden light on the land and fingers crossed we get the action in the sky which is exactly what I was trying to get last week but it didn't work out but we'll have to wait and see but either way it is an it is a stunning evening it really is and we're just sort of looking around we were looking around five minutes ago seeing where we're going to set our tents up um, looks like there's quite a few opportunities but yeah for now we're just trying to bag a shot each really so whatever happens I'll pop that one up for you guys to see now Hello, good morning, ah, and what a stunning morning it is. Get a look at that, absolutely beautiful. So, I haven't really thought about the photography just yet. Um, I've literally unzipped my tent, looked outside and me and Ian have just been wandering around in awe of it really. Um, as you can see, obviously we're still on the top of this mountain and we've got these 360 degree views now last night i was thinking about photographing this beautiful mountain here which i don't remember the name i will put it up on the screen however at the minute i'm just being lured in i think we both are um, obviously really you know by this beautiful sky here off towards where the sun is rising um almost seduced by it uh, but we were just saying there by the time the sun comes up i think most of these colors are going to have sort of disappeared but Ah, oh, it looks like there's a lot of opportunity at the minute, even down this way, back towards Snowdon. We've got a little bit of mist um, hanging down there in the valley, um, which is only going to add a bit of interest to any photographs we get in that direction. So, yeah, uh, I need to spend the next five minutes trying to figure out a composition. All right, so as you can see, I'm set up, and firstly, I must admit, I've been flapping around a little bit. Um, it's just beautiful all the way around us. Um, the sky's pretty much lit up, and I've got my composition set, but uh, something doesn't feel 100% right, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and stick with it and just commit to it. And what I'm doing is actually trying quite, uh, quite a similar concept to what I was trying last night. So I've already took a couple of shots um, that, I've exposed for the sky basically so whilst the sky is this beautiful I've got a couple of photographs in the bag and then I'm going to wait for that sun to come up and over the horizon there up and over the sort of bank of cloud I'm just going to hope fingers crossed that it lights up this beautiful scene in front of us here just you know right in front of my camera it's looking promising at the minute um, and it's going to be a composite so when I get home I'll merge the photograph that's exposed for the sky together with fingers crossed the photograph that's going to be exposed to the foreground with some nice golden light or orange light or whatever um, one thing I will say is my photograph of the sky I only took about 10 minutes ago before that it was a lot sort of the reds were a lot deeper and the pinks were a lot deeper 
So it started becoming more into an orange colour and what I'm hoping that's going to give me is a bit more of a natural a uh, bit more of a natural balance between the foreground light and the sky, you know, whereas if you had too much of a pre-dawn sky uh, along with that light in the foreground, I think it'd look a bit unnatural, but this is something I've not really tried that much before, so it's all sort of trial and, every, trial and error, even for myself. Um, so, yeah, I'm probably just gonna, uh, I'm gonna commit to this photograph and hopefully we get some nice light in the land and I may still do something with this mountain here as well. I'll show you this photograph now guys, I hope you like it. Oh, so what a wonderful morning. Um, it's quite hard to tell at the minute, me and Ian were just saying, it's quite hard to tell whether or not the shots we've got uh, are any good. It's quite contrasty, you know, we waited, we had to wait for that sun to rise up and over that bank of cloud before we could utilise any light on the land, but fingers crossed, hopefully they come out all right. Um, just having a bit of breakfast, as you can see, a bit of beans and sausages. Um, got my kettle on the go for my coffee, so beautiful, beautiful morning, it really is stunning and like I say, fingers crossed for the photography, but either way, what a morning and what an adventure it's been. I think we can't complain too much about the sunset and the sunrise. It's definitely been my best um, on a sort of wild camping adventure. So, uh, as the old kettle boils, I think I will leave it there. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Much appreciated. Please do go and check out Ian's channel as well. Like I mentioned in the introduction, I will leave a link to it in the video description below. Thanks again, and I shall see you guys on the next adventure next week. Out!